Hi guys, so today I am here to do a video I have been looking forward to filming for a long time. I was just being lazy about actually putting it together, but today as the title says, I am here to discuss glitter nail polish. I, we all know I love nail polish, I'm obsessed, and I do love glitter nail polish. I know some girls aren't into the bling, but I really, really am, so... I have my favorite glitter nail polishes to share, and then I also have what I think, or in my opinion, what goes good with them, like what you should wear underneath them. So I hope this is helpful. I hope, uh, yeah. <laughs> and I swatched because I'm the best, and yeah. So let's just get into it. Okay, so starting off with lighter shades, I actually already talked about this combo in my uh, December favorites, I believe. Yeah, it was that one. I wore this in December and I absolutely loved it. I love Deborah Lippmann glitter nail polish. You'll see me talk about that in a minute. But one of the ones I have is this Stairway to Heaven color, which is a really, really pretty kind of like ivory glitter color. It kind of just reminds me of the top of a sugar cookie, like those kinds of sprinkles. It's square cut glitter in there. It's so pretty. It is a little gloopy, I'm not gonna lie to you, but once you work it out and get it on your nail, it really, really is amazing. And I think white nail polish would go good under this, but I paired mine with this Color Club nail polish I have called Mod Manhattan. It's a little sample one I got in an Ipsy bag. It's kind of just like an ivory color, so I think any like peachy, ivory, nude white color would look best underneath this, and it's just gonna look like a winter wonderland sugar cookie on your nails. It's so pretty, and I love it. Now, if you follow me on Instagram, which if you don't, you should, but if you do, then you already know that I always post pictures of my nails each week, whether I get them done or paint them myself, I post a picture just to show you what polish I'm wearing, what it looks like, all that stuff. So, I do that, and a company reached out to me called Illume Lacquer, and they have an Etsy shop, and they asked to send me some samples, so it's like, okay, great. And they specialize in glitter nail polish, and they sent me a few, and my favorite one was the rose gold color. It's really just like a really pretty rose color mixed with gold cut glitter, and it's so pretty. This is more of a top coat. Um, also, they sent me another one called Kaleidoscope Eyes that is so pretty. I didn't feature it in this video. I don't know why, but it is so pretty. I love it. Um, but immediately when I saw this, I thought about pairing it with my Nail Teeny Champagne, which I got, I think, in my November ipsy bag these looked amazing together it's such a nice like subtle yet glittery i don't know it's so so pretty i was absolutely loving it when i swatched it i can't wait to actually put it on my nails and yeah also the ladies at illum have set up a discount code for you guys if you are interested in purchasing some of the nail polish the code is just amy lynn all lowercase and i will link their etsy shop down below if you want to go check them out i highly recommend them they make really good glitter polish and yeah this next combo is amazing and I wore it last year at some point and I've always kept it on the brain and it's Mod About You as underneath and then Pink Yet Lavender which was from the first Mariah Carey OPI collection and it's such a pretty glitter color. It really is kind of pink, kind of lavender. On top of Mod About You, it was just heavenly. It was so good. I'm gonna do it again um, probably in February because this is like a good romantic Valentine's Day nail polish which I will be doing a Valentine's Day polish picks. Um, but anyway, yeah, this is so sparkly, so pretty, I love it. The next glitter polish I wanted to talk about is called Mini Style. It's from the latest Mini Couture, I can never say that word. It's from the latest Minnie Mouse collection that OPI came out with, and it's basically just white and like metallic pink and red glitter. It's really, really cute. Um, and to pair it with, I, it's, I'm not, it's not that exciting, but I chose Big Apple Red, which, because it's just a good basic red color, which it looked a little more subtle on this, or if you want the glitter to really pop, I chose Short Story, which is my favorite bubblegum pink. They both looked really cute with the glitter. This would also look good on white, because the white glitter is in there. Um, so yeah, this one's pretty versatile. Again, a good one for Valentine's Day, and yeah. For my next glitter, I have Rainbow Connection from the Muppets collection, which it was, I think, like two or three years ago. Um, I don't know how easy this is still to get, but you can find it online. But this is basically rainbow glitter, but most of the glitter is green because, you know, Rainbow Connection, Kermit, all that. So, it's a really pretty, like, greeny based glitter polish, so I paired it with Mermaid's Tears, which is another discontinued OPI product, but it's probably easy to find, um, and it looked so pretty. I was so in love with it. So yeah, this is going to be a good summer um, 
match combo, there's the word. <laughs> this is gonna be a good summer combo, so I'm really, really excited. Along the same lines of like blue-green, the next glitter polish I have is called the Living Daylights. This was from the James Bond collection and I wore it, I think over last summer and I love it. And I paired it with this Can't Find My Checkbook. Um, this is an amazing blue by itself, but these two together, it just really popped and it looked really good. I got a lot of compliments when I wore them. And yeah, it's really good. I think you'll like it too. This is called Polka.com and this is such a good one. It's got purple, blue, pink, big, and small glitter in it. So it's really, really, really gl glittery, but it still looks good as a top coat. So I paired it with two different ones. I paired it with You're So Euro, which is um, the one that I paired it with when I originally wore it, and I loved it. This is such a good color by itself, but this looked great underneath the glitter. And then this color, Miss Universe, which is actually what I on, have on my nails today without glitter, but um, it looked really, really good on both, so yeah. Now I have a nail polish that I kind of, not really just recently got, but I'm saving it for 4th of July because it's red, white, and blue glitter, and it is from Julep. It is called Fireworks, and I cannot wait to wear this on 4th of July on top of just white nail polish. It is so pretty. I have five Julep nail polishes, but I haven't actually tried any of them, which is weird. But um, yeah, I, I I can't wait. The swatch looks amazing. I can't wait to have really festive nails, and yeah. I have a couple Essie glitter polishes from the Lux Effects line. This one is called Stroke of Brilliance, and it's just a really glittery blue nail polish. Um, I wouldn't recommend wearing this one by itself because it is pretty top coaty. So I paired it with Bikini Sotini, which is an amazing color by itself, but on top of it, it looked cool because this is obviously lighter than the color um, than the color of the glitter, so it just looked cool. It looked like a um, like an Easter egg kind of. Like a, like a robin's egg, I think that's what it's called. I don't know, but it looked really, really cute and I'm probably gonna wear that in the summer. And then also my latest Essie polish that I have purchased is called Jazzy Jubilant, which is such a good glitter color. It's got purple, silver, green, blue, red. It has a bunch in there, it's really, really pretty. I wore it in November with OPI Visions of Love, which is part of the Mariah Carey collection, which you can still get, it's an amazing polish. And together they just looked really, really pretty, really festive, and yeah. Now I have a few glitter polishes that I like to wear by themselves, and I have two from OPI, and the first one is my favorite ornament. I wore this on my nails for New Year's, and I loved it. It's such a good champagne -y gold color. Um, I think I had three coats. I could have done two, but I wanted three to be extra glam and glitzy, and it was really, really pretty, so there's that one. And then my other favorite one is DS Temptation. I wore this for my birthday this year. The DS ones are really shiny, really shimmery. Um, that's what they're meant to do, so of course you're gonna wear them by themselves, and this one was so, so pretty, so yeah. Last but not least, I have three Deborah Lippmann nail polishes that can be worn by themselves. The first one is called Candy Shop, and it is just this pink bubblegum color with a ton of glitter packed in there. What I like about the Deborah Lippmann, most of the Deborah Lippmann glitter nail polishes, is like the polish itself has a sheer tint of a color. So if you layer it two or three times, it's gonna look like an opaque nail polish. You don't need to wear something under it, if that makes sense. So this has just like a sheer pink background to it. It's really, really pretty. I love it. So there's that one. And then I got these two over the last summer, and this is from the, they're from the Mermaid Collection. This is Do the Mermaid and Million Dollar Mermaid, and they're both just really shimmery, pale, lavender and orange. And they're both really, really pretty and I'm obsessed with them. And they are, there are like, I think two or three more in the glitter um, line. I think there's a green, a pink, and like a blue, maybe? I could be making that up, but I kind of want to check them out. These are $19, which is a lot, but I don't know. These were just worth it to me because they're so pretty. So yeah. Okay guys, so that wraps it up for my glitter nail polish video. I hope you liked it. I hope it was helpful. Um, give it a thumbs up if you did, and yeah, I'll see you guys soon. Be sure to check out the link for the discount below, and yeah, thanks guys. I'll talk to you soon. Bye!